Dear Logan Paul, um, I don't know where to start with this, but what I said at the airport, kind of take these words a little back because I watched some of the videos. Okay, let's put it this way. He was in the moment, for sure in the moment. But when he uploaded that video, he should have been much smarter. His manager is freaking awesome. I don't know how his manager approved that or because it got tons of views already. But long story short, I don't want to be involved with this, but the whole YouTube community is involved in this. I was going to go to that forest and vlog there too. I don't know what I would have done if I came across that dead body. I would definitely wouldn't probably vlogged it. And if I did vlog it, I would probably blur the whole thing. And I don't know, I saw him smirking and smiling and probably like making a joke. But he's, he's vlogging daily life. He wasn't definitely in the moment. He didn't know how soft YouTube is. Because I definitely know from my videos. And he has five, six year old fans following him. I don't think I have that many of those fans. I have age, my main demographics is 18 to 24. So maybe my audience would have handled it differently. But he's such a smart guy and he made an apology video. I think he should definitely be forgiven because he made a mistake once in his career. That's his first mistake. So it's definitely should be forgiven. Logan, you stay strong, you're good. I mean, suicide is not a joke, but I feel like he was in the moment. It was just like, he walked in suicide forward, he saw that. I think it was a kind of messed up that he used it as a clickbait for his video, a dead body actually hanging. I feel like if I would have done, but now I can just say, I've, if I, I would have done, I would have done, I would have done, I would have done. I don't know what I would have done. I would be in the moment like him maybe and be like, fuck, yeah, let's get some views, clickbait, boom, 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 boom. I, yeah, so I saw the video, he like smirk and whatever. And people are taking it to heart. It's all over the news and stuff. So Logan stays strong. I made mistakes before, got it over. It. Everybody makes mistakes and you made an apology video that you can see it's purely out of your heart. I forgive you and I never really had nothing against you and you for five years, you're a dope ass guy. Just stay strong and just keep moving forward in your career and I wish you all the best. In other news, <laughs> in other news, what's up with YouTube? Trending that video, number one on YouTube. YouTube, you gave me career. I should be nice and thankful, but what the fuck YouTube, seriously? This is why I can't wait for Vitaly Uncensored. What are you doing? There's so many videos that are, I did PG that you guys are censored it and reviewed it by manually and still censor them, but you put a dead body trending number one. What the fuck? Seriously. I think 2018, you guys need to drill in your fucking brain and start monetizing everyone's content, okay? Because a lot of creators are leaving the platforms, they're making their own platforms, and I don't like to be involved in any drama. But that shit trending on number one, while every other creator is working fucking so hard to be at least training once in their lifetime. You know, I trained it on YouTube many, 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 many times. Sounds like, yeah, it's cool. okay, it's whatever. Been there, done that, but it would be cool to do it again, sure. But a lot of creators never experienced that. So I think you should give them a chance, guys. I'm simply here to apologize. So what we came across that day in the woods was obviously unplanned. And the reactions you saw on tape were raw, they were unfiltered. Uh, none of us knew how to react or how to feel. I should have never posted the video. I should have put the cameras down and stopped recording what we were going through. There's a lot of things I should have done differently, but I didn't. And for that, from the bottom of my heart, I am sorry.